Good morning. It's the day after our tire fiasco and uh, second day in June of 2022 and it's Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Um, we decided we wanted to do a little bit of a trailer site uh, quick little, what would you say? Just like a walkthrough. 19th of June, not the 2nd of June. 2nd week of June. Oh, okay. 2nd Sunday in June. That's what I meant to say anyway. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. No problem. I'm going to get eaten by this mosquito. Okay, so we're here and we wanted to do a quick little tour of the inside of the trailer and then we'll do a quick little tour on the outside and just sort of show you around camp. All right, so the trailer is a what? 2018 Cougar 29 BHS. Yes. Half ton. So the BHS stands for the bunk beds in the double bunks in the back of the trailer, correct? Correct. All right, so maybe that's, we'll start over here, which is our bedroom. All right, let's go. She's gonna be mad now. Okay, so when you come in the front door, to your right is our master bedroom. Um, the bed is definitely much longer what, than what comes with the trailer because we couldn't we couldn't sleep on the original mattress. <laughs> Neither one of us were, were sleeping, so it was a bad situation. So we decided to order the purple poly sleep. Um, it's hard to get a very good angle, but it's the poly sleep um, bed in a box, mattress in a box, and it's been the best decision ever even though it's a little bit hard to get around Rob had to take out um, the nightstand that is similar to mine in the corner it's the same thing really uh, so that we could have the room now coming out from our room oh also what was nice selling feature is a door away from our dog and away from our children <laughs> so we have the kitchen um, show them the pantry from the okay. modifications we did there. We'll show the mods in the pantry. So this was originally a closet for, for uh, your coats and whatnot. Uh, we built these two shelves here so we can store more dry, dry goods. Now just so you know, there's a lot of noodle there. That's my daughter. She's obsessed with Mr. Noodle. <laughs> um, but yeah, all the dry food up here. And then we also installed a magnetic strip for for the knives and everything that we uh, have there. Yeah, and instead of putting shoes and everything, we use this for pantry. Pantry is for cupboard, uh, extra cupboard space. Things that you need when you're basically living part time out of a trailer. <laughs> we would love to be for living full time, but that's not in the cards right now. Um, so, this, it's hard to get it all in in one shot, is our kitchen. Did we add anything to the kitchen? Pretty stock other than the uh, paper towel holder. Yeah, we added the paper towel holder. Um, oh, what else? I cut this down the middle so you can yes. slide it over. And also cut off. Use it as a cutting board. And if you open it up for a second, it's really nice deep sinks. So they're great for washing. And when you have too many dishes and you just want to go to bed, you can throw the lids over. And nobody sees anything. <laughs> so the cupboards up here we use for alcohol and oil, cooking oils, and seasonings and garlics. And that's it. All right. Now we have the stock oven. That came with the unit. Regular fridge. You could talk about the TV because I don't know what you've done to the back of it. Yeah, so it's uh, it came with this TV. Not you'd like you need a gigantic TV like this in an RV, but anyways, it came with it. Uh, in behind here, uh, installed the media center, a Raspberry Pi for about 40 bucks, 10 terabyte drive. That's where we charge all of our walkie talkies because there's no cell service or anything. Uh, I did install the base module for the surround sound. Yep. Okay. 
there isn't really any ideal place to be putting linens so I've been using the cubbies down here there's some electronics that we don't use every day behind that same thing over here just extra supplies and some linens Kaylee likes to sleep on the pull-out couch and this is Chewy's mat he sleeps on there when everybody else is on the couch or the chairs now this is the be it the bunkhouse um, Kaylee's claustrophobic and she doesn't like to sleep up there that's fine she'll sleep on the couch um, Alex our son he can't he sleeps on the bottom bunk because he can't conveniently climb up because he has a physical disability another good mod here is the, oh, yeah. uh, it's the fan which we forgot to talk about in our bedroom yeah and actually it's a Canadian fan um, I forget the name of them now but it's on the side there that's one of them. get closer um, like they said, put them in boats yeah they're made for yachts um, low low wattage about two watts per hour which is nothing um, and they run off 12 volts so you don't need to have your inverter on or anything this is our little bathroom it's much bigger than the first trailer the first full size I guess it was about 30 feet 25 feet or something it's this uh, uh, trailer seems to have a bigger bathroom and I need to turn that fan off okay so we have a water setup which I'll, I will show you um, our site does not come with any um, services so we uh, provide all of the services ourselves with solar and we get it, we pump our water from the lake so that's our setup here uh, yeah and that I guess basically is the trailer solar logging here oh yes so this is a company out of uh, uh, I believe it's Alberta it's called Electrodacus so this guy actually makes the electronics in his household so this is a BMS so we run full lithium iron phosphate batteries we have about uh, the shy of six kilowatt hours um, so what this shows you is how much consumption you're using and how much you're making so uh, right now we're making a little bit over 300 watts worth of solar. It can peak up to 600 depending on the time of day. Um, time of year. Time of year too. Typically we'll use probably half the battery over tonight and then the next day it'll be topped up by the end of the day. We do do cooking too with induction. Mm -hmm. uh, we do use toasters, uh, heated blenders, uh, ice makers. So it's kind of nice to provide all that from the, uh, from the sun. The sun. We don't have to use the generator very often. So, yeah, this is the way out. And my shoes are outside. Hi, dude. All right, we're outside. We're in our site. Um, so we're just gonna take you for a little tour around and show you the outside and a little bit about our site and how we keep it running uh, effectively for our family. All right, let's go. All righty, I'll let you show them around or do you want me to do it? All right, this is the outdoor cooking center. So I like to cook with charcoal when I can, but if it's raining out, I do have a small barbecue, a really old barbecue. Uh, a little messy, uh, that's where I make our ice. There used to be a freezer or fridge in here, but a lot of energy use and we didn't, we we didn't, didn't use, use it. it. So um, that's where I charge my chainsaw battery, make the water. Uh, like I said, we do cook with induction too. We have an induction Chewy. cooktop. Enough. Sorry guys, the dog's whining because uh, he wants to go. This also came with a trailer. There's a griddle. It is a piece of garbage. Um, Hence why we got now the induction. Yeah, so we put more induction where we can. Two other barbecues. Yeah. This is kind of our miscellaneous outdoor drawer where. Um, that isn't used yet, by the way. No, it's still in the package. Don't get grossed out. <laughs> that won't be stored there. 
So, yes, we have a little outdoor shower, which is nice here because on the other uh, trailer, our shower was on the other side, which really didn't make a lot of sense because this is where you kind of need the extra water. All right, so that's the door to our bathroom. So you can access the bathroom from the outside. Now to follow around, that's the front door. And just a cubby where we put like... A disaster. Yeah, we just stuff... I've got to find a solution. I think I might create a slide out drawer because I mean, everybody's got a trailer. This is what you put up with, right? Yeah. So It's not ideal. It's all the fishing gas stuff and and swimming blow up floaties and that kind of thing. Just a bunch of things. And the battery, I put all the battery electronics up, up front here so the inverter is all on. Yeah. Like, dark Which this will is be a be. different video, we'll go through yeah. that in detail. Just quickly, but that's on the other side there as you can see is where I got all my electronics put. Give you a better tour later. Yeah. That cubby hole's cleaned up. <laughs> uh, another mod, we put two 100 pound tanks on here. I almost get through a season just with one, and I have a cutover valve that will will switch from uh, left to right, so I don't have to worry about my freak running out of the uh, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, I can get a book till August on one tank. So mm -hmm. That's with the hot water and everything, showers, cooking. Because there's no services, we can't monitor our trailer from home. But so this is our water tote. Uh, IBU tank, so they're about a hundred bucks. Um, we pump from the lake. I do put one bucket of bromine, so it sanitizes everything, so the water inside the trailer doesn't get gross. We don't drink the water in the trailer; we bring water out. Yeah, the uh, water we use in the trailer is for uh, showering and washing dishes, yeah. and just like general cleanup. So another problem with the trailer is is it's uh, it's got a one-way valve, and you can't just gravity flow into it. It's got to be pressurized. These new trailers are different than the old ones so I do have a pump that I have to turn on that I hook up to the battery and a transfer pump and it takes about uh, half an hour to 45 minutes to fill the tank. I do have a 70 liter tank in the, in the trailer. Uh, over here I installed a solar, solar plug. What came with the trailer is this is solar ready. It's actually garbage. It's good for about uh, 40 watts which is useless. <laughs> um, so I do have uh, this thing installed. It's good for up to uh, I believe uh, 2,000, 2000 watts. Um, right now I'm running 600 watts. Um, I have two two panels down at the lake and I haven't ran into series. So it's right around uh, 100 volts open, open circuit, which my charge controller can take. And the reason why I do that is if you increase the voltage, you need smaller wire. And if I didn't do that, it'd be about $1,000 for the wire, 300 feet or I'd go down to the lake. So, little little quick hack, and uh, another uh, another tap here. I just use this tap to flush the uh, the black tank. We're not going to show you all that stuff, but there is a flush here. If you uh, guys want to know any more any details, like fine details on things on anything that we're talking about here, please leave a comment in in the comment section, and we will read them and. We put that on our list for videos. Yep. And I think that's about it for this side. That's the yep. slide out where we uh, have the couch. Now that's it does have a, a, a full leveling system too. Oh yes. Um, I don't know if they're entirely worth it. Um, the first time you pop a fuse, you're stuck. When you're trying to level it. So if anybody has this system in this trailer, I would recommend carrying a because they're a larger size fuse, 30 amp. Yeah, they're uh, harder to find. So you put yourself in the bind when half your trailer is jacked up and the other side isn't. It's good fun. <laughs> yes. Um, we do have two quads and that is our, what do you call that, trailer, or uh, canoe. Our expedition canoe. We do do canoe trips, which is one that's coming up soon. Um, and we just use big cables and lock everything up before we leave. Down the path is where the generator and solar is located. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. They're really friendly around here too, so everybody 
keeps uh, keeps an eye out for everybody else's stuff. Yeah. It's a good community up here. And there's lots and lots of people who have cameras. Game cameras, yeah. <laughs> Including Steve who runs the place. So I think that's it for today. So if there's anything you guys want more detail on, please leave it in the comments below so that we can make a list. Uh, it'll get, really give us some ideas on on different topics um, that we can, yep. that, you know, may help somebody else out there. Because uh, we've been doing this for what, 10 years now? 11 years? Yep. So, yeah, every year we get new mods to the trailer and improve it in some sort of way. Okay, well, have a great day, guys, and we will see you again soon. Bye. Trench below